hey hi um so uh this is going to be a very ad hoc kind of a video so first of all i think the video quality might not be great uh, second i've done it in uh, 9 to 16 ratio and you know so i'd not really planned for this but then i thought i'll uh, do this so today in the evening uh, i had been to this particular market in riyadh called as al magalia market uh, it's basically a, a large market that sells a lot of clothes and all of that but then there is a section uh, that which is for uh, perfumes right now um, first of all i would like to thank uh, asan siddiqui of asan hood for actually suggesting that you know i go here uh, to explore this particular market because uh, you know because of him i kind of you know went there because i was actually lo looking for something like this to try and explore and see if we have some kind of you know perfume market because Riyadh is actually very popular for fragrances and I'm on a street uh, called as Olaya Street uh, which is about 8-10 kilometers I would say and within that 8-10 kilometers there are at least at least 10 malls here and there are some malls which are dedicated only for fragrances which is basically your niche and your designer brands and all of them and uh, Aside to that, there are a lot of, uh, you know, Saudi brands here like, um, uh, you know, uh, Al, uh, Qureshi and your Ibrahim Al Qureshi, you have your Samad Al Qureshi and then you have your Arabian Oud, you have your Swiss Arabian, then there are plenty of other brands who have exclusive showrooms here in this particular stretch. Now, while these are here, but these are primarily very expensive, which is mostly about uh, 150-200 reals and above. Uh, that is on sale right so 150 200 rials uh, one rial is about 23 uh, you know indian rupees so you can kind of you know make a calculation to try and understand what kind of you know perfumery is being sold here now these are the malls and that is the large part of the section so the malls and the big brands you can kind of you know smell everywhere and all of that i actually wanted to explore the local market to see what is actually available in the local market so that's when I, uh, you know, was trying to figure out and uh, Asan Bai told me, you know, you go to try this particular marketplace called Al Magalia and you will be, you know, pretty happy to check out this particular place. So it's a pretty large place when I say it and I'm going to show you some videos and I'm trying to do this as a voiceover because it's the first time I'm actually trying to do this. I hope you enjoy this particular video, right? So let's get started. So the first thing that you will kind of see is this particular uh, entry point and you will see that this is a pretty large complex and in my opinion i think there are easily about 150 200 shops that sell perfume so this is basically the outside area or the entry point to this particular market you would realize that you know it's a pretty large section now this part of the section which is there is only for perfumes and the right side is for uh, uh, basically for clothes and all of that now this is one of the stores where you can see oud being kept and you know how oud being is uh, oud is being sold so you will see a lot of places selling oud this is one of the stores that i went to and they have a lot of fragrances now the thing about these fragrances are that you know you have fragrances then you have clones and you have clone of clones right at a different level you don't get a lot of latafa here surprisingly i didn't see you get a lot of mason alhambra okay you get that and this is one of them so this brown colored uh, box is one of the perfumes that i bought for uh, you know fragged friend of mine for me this particular fragrance smelt like uh, roja qatar uh, i was looking for a lot of oud fragrances which are pretty loud beast mode kind of thing this was one of them which smelled very nice very close to uh, the one that uh, i have smelt which is uh, roja qatar sorry roja uae uh, now this was about 110 sar which is about i think about two and a half thousand rupees which i felt was really really good for the quality of the fragrance now this is another store which sells only bakur and here i was able to actually pick up a bakur from this particular shop i in fact bought about three because i felt this was really cheap and uh, one of the things that i have to say in um, riyadh is Every hotel that you go to, uh, the hotel that I'm staying in or in the hotel where I'm supposed to train, the kind of aroma that you get in when you walk into this particular place is just divine. I've heard so much about, uh, you know, Oud being such a great, uh, you know, thing and, you know, you will smell Oud everywhere in Middle East and all of that. It is actually very true. So when you come to the lobby of the hotel, you get this amazing smell, which is slightly sweet, slightly oudish, very, very beautiful. You will kind of fall in love with this particular fragrance that good. So for me, I was actually looking for a bakur that kind of smells like that. And uh, 
I kind of you know found this. I'm not too sure how close this camera is capturing this particular thing, uh, which is uh, Ashik Kalud, which is basically this. Uh, so this is about 25 riyals, uh, you know, for about I think 60 grams of uh, uh, oud. So when I smelt it up close, this was really really nice. Uh, you know, it smelt very close to the one that I was uh, able to sniff in the hotel lobby. So that way I kind of like this particular thing. And uh, this was the fragrance that I was talking about, which I got for my uh, you know fragged friend. So you know that these are two things that I did. Uh, there are some more there's one more that i'll show you so this was the store from where i picked up these uh, bakurs and uh, you know one of the problem is language because they all speak arabic so you have to talk in english so it kind of becomes difficult just look at the size of the place and you'll get an idea that you know these stores are pretty large and there are plenty of stores in this particular mall i was actually not able to cover all of them at all a few is what i could you will see oud chips everywhere oud oils being sold a lot of lot of oud stuff everywhere and everywhere it is just going to be one of those things where you're going to get a ola factory fatigue because you know you just can't smell so many things and then you get confused because a lot of the stuff that you smell are like you know clones and all of a lot of fragrance the other element also is that uh, they smell a little cheap so you know you you smell all of these things and then you're not happy at least that's what happened with me i might have tried like 30 40 fragrances and but then i just didn't like a majority of them i kind of you know liked only one at the very end that i really thought i should get uh, but having said that this place is just like crazy so you, you, this is arabian oud which has had a sale at fit about 50 percent off on uh, most of the products so you still get about something for about 200 uh, riyals and if you look at the stores every store is selling fragrances every store is selling originals they have uh, they have uh, some uh, copies they have some copy of copies and you know something so you have for every price tag now if you look at this this is the store that is you know put out uh, bakur outside the store uh, while everywhere it's you can still smell it but this one is got outside as well now look at this particular store the number of fragrances that they have and most of the stores are like this so you have a lot of these oils also that they sell a lot of bottles and just for the size it's like a it's like going to a national market or some supermarket you know where you have lots of shops and every shop is selling fragrances so it's like a paradise for somebody who's coming to Riyadh to buy perfumes so as low as i think 30 35 riyals you will get a perfume bottle to all the way up to 400 500 or whatever is your you know budget but the options are plenty and uh, you got to really be careful as to what you want to get because while the names are like you know something but it could smell totally something else altogether this was one of the surprising outlets for me because this is where i picked up something uh, almost on my way out so this was a small company called i think it's called tooq and uh, they had a lot of stuff for display and this women were actually calling out and you know try asking you to try and i kind of got one from them which is a tobacco fragrance which for me was a very unique way of uh, getting tobacco because when i smelt it it could it was smelling very sweet a rose kind of a texture on that i've really uh, not gone through uh, you know enough to understand what exactly the note breakdown but i'll uh, try and review this particular fragrance in case uh, if you're interested so that was from that particular shop and then you can just just to give you a glimpse of the type or the large stores there are and you can just see everything is in like wholesale right plenty of shops plenty of options to buy you will actually kind of get lost as to what you want and what you don't want uh, but then again it's not cheap a lot of the fragrances are in the budget of 180 200 riyals and you can bargain you can negotiate you can probably get it down to uh, 130 and all if you're buying two three you easily get good options uh, these are bakur burners then you also had swiss arabian you had ajmal in this particular place lot of shops uh, this is fantasy oud uh, there are a lot of niche brands as well there are brands that sell a lot of stuff like here you have saffron and oud and just look at this sec uh, store where you have a lot of bottle options uh, they also sell fragrances but a lot of bakur uh, burning uh, you know uh, uh, device that is called that one is available and just to give you a magnitude of uh, the kind of you know uh, things that are available just look at the store size i was pretty bowled over because uh, I think seeing so much oud, so much fragrances in a single place uh, was something e extraordinary for me because I had never, I mean, I've never seen a place where there is so many fragrances. Of course, Dubai airport was a very exception where you had a lot of niche brands. So one element that I personally felt is after smelling a lot of 
हाई एंड ऑल्स और यू नो नीच ब्रांड्स और एनी थिंग एज सच वेन यू स्मेल अ लॉट ऑफ फ्रेग्रेंसेस फ्रॉम दीज प्लेस यू नो इट माइट नॉट स्ट्राइक फॉर यू बिकॉज इट माइट नॉट वर्क फॉर यू ऑल द टाइम सो दैट्स एक्चुअली कैंड ऑफ वॉट हैपन विद मी आई वॉज नॉट एबल टू कैंड ऑफ यू नो narrow down on a lot of fragrances but uh, this was something that i kind of liked so this was the entire uh, section of videos and uh, i kind of liked a few fragrances that i thought i should share with you okay and um, so basically yeah so in case you are in riyadh you should definitely come to this particular place it's called al magelia market it's this entire section is for perfumes only and uh, you will have a lot of options uh, come in the evening it's really wonderful to try out a lot of perfume options and i this was a very quick video to showcase what's available uh, you know or what what's been an experience to go here to especially see oud that is being kept like that and sold in uh, you know such portions and uh, it's not ex- cheap it's expensive uh, i think um, easily about uh, 50 riyals for about i think uh, 20 30 grams so something like that i don't recall because uh, i went quite in a few places but yes you have lot of options and money is not if money is not a problem then this is a perfect place for you to shop a lot of things especially oud oils and perfumes and all of that all right so that was a very quick blog like video i hope you like the video uh, this uh, i do know that the quality of this video is not that great but i hope the audio is slightly better i'm recording this from a hotel room uh, you no know, uh, take care and until next time bye now